Welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. And if you're gear not specifically the Ford Fiesta, Ford EcoSport, Ford Focus, it's like this. Alright, whereby the rubber is sticky and not so nice. Alright, we have a cover for it and I'm going to show you how to do it. So once you're at this stage, what you need to do now is you need to look at the back here. There is a plastic piece and you need to put in a very thin screwdriver and then just pu uh, push it out. Okay, once you have it out, just remove it. And you should see two screws here which I have already removed. Which is why you can see this moving a lot. And before you pull it out, make sure you check there's a cable at the bottom here. Make sure you unplug that and then pull it out. So once you have gotten the gear knob out, the connector disconnected. So what you do is you need to take the cover and stretch it in. It will not be a very perfect fit because these are aftermarkets, but try to get it as tight as possible and try and align this hole over here as much to the button over here as possible. Okay, and I will show you how to do the sewing after this. Okay, so stretch it as much as possible. Make sure it's tight. Alright. As I said, this is aftermarket so it may not be 100% but just do what you can. Okay, stretch it. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Okay, and then we'll have the string over here on two sides. And we'll go in from one side first. Alright, so there are holes already available so we'll follow it. First hole to first hole. Okay, and we try to center it first. Okay, this came out. So, right, don't worry, there will always be extra strings. Okay, so apparently this needle is broken. Okay, so I'll do what I can. Okay, so make sure it's center. Okay, so what you do is you go one over here first. And then one over here. And what you do is pull it really, really tight. Okay, as you pull it, make sure you realign back all this, get it to as much as close to where you want it as possible. Tighten it. Then move on to the next hole. And having a broken needle is not fun. And then go away again. And pull it real tight again. Okay. Let's just adjust it again. So now I'm going to use my leg to hold it tight while I do the rest of the stitches. I'm going to stop using this and I'm just going to use this. Okay. So I'm just going to use one needle. I'm going to keep changing it. Okay, so once we have both, both of it here, let's pull it really, really tight. Okay, just have a look. 
nice and tight good okay so let's pull it really tight then we'll tie two knots Then we'll just cut it off and we are done. Let's install it back and see how it looks. Okay, that's done. Very nice to hold. This still works. Not obstructed as well. Well, a bit out but from where you're sitting you don't really see it. And as an added bonus, how about the handbrake? We got this. And it's stretchable, so just put it in. And that's done. Nice. No longer sticky. Okay, so let's talk a bit about this DIY, alright? So the cost of this is about 17 ringgit 50 cent and the cost of this is about 12 ringgit i will put a link in the uh, description on where i purchased this very cheap diy very fast as well so overall it took about 15 minutes that includes removing all these panels as well as um actually could have been faster if i had uh, two working needles i only had one the second one was broken and it was dragging dragging a bit okay so make sure you connect back the connector on the bottom here as well right else these two buttons will not work okay yeah that's the end of this diy very simple all right so if you like it make sure you hit this if you dislike it you can hit this but leave us a comment down below on how to improve further and if you have not done so make sure you hit the subscribe make sure you hit the like make sure you hit the bell so you get notified on our next upload Alright, till next time, I will see you again.